Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the Pythagorean Theorem and how to use it to find a missing side in a right triangle. So as you can see here, we have our right triangle and we're actually missing the length of a side. And this side, this is our longer side of our right triangle, and this side is known as the hypotenuse. Hi. Hypotenuse. So the formula or theorem to finding a missing side in a right triangle is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c in this case is our hypotenuse, our longest side of our triangle. a is any of these sides and so is b. So this side is a, I'll just say, and this side is b. So a and b, they don't matter, they're one of these two sides. However, c, c is always going to be our hypotenuse. And to find our hypotenuse here, we can simply plug these two values in to our formula. So we're going to plug in a and b into our formula. So 3 squared, we have 3 squared, 3 is a, plus 4 squared equals c squared. Now 3 squared, that's 9, plus 4 squared is 16. And this is equal to c squared. Well, 9 plus 16 is 25. And that's equal to c squared. And now, to find c, we're going to have to find the square root of both sides. So the square root of 25 and the square root of c squared. So this changes c squared into c equals the square root of 25 is 5. So our missing side length for our hypotenuse is 5. So this side is 5, our hypotenuse's side length. All right, so for now in this problem, we are given the length of our hypotenuse and one side. However, we're missing one of our non-hypotenuse sides. And to find that, for, to find that side, we can simply plug in these two values into our Pythagorean theorem. So C, C is 40, you remember, and let's just say 24 is A. So let's plug in 40 for C. So we're left with 40 squared is equal to 24 squared plus b squared. So now what we want to do is simply solve and find the value of b squared. So 40 squared, that is 1600. And this is equal to 24 squared. 576 plus b squared. Now we're going to subtract 576 on both sides, so we're left with b squared is equal to 1024. Now we want to find the square root of both sides. So we're left with b equals 1024, which is 32. So our missing side length, b, is 32. And that's how we find the missing side lengths of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. And remember, this theorem only works for right triangles. 
So triangles with a 90 degree angle. And this theorem doesn't actually work for any other type of triangle. So make sure to only use this for right triangles.